Turning now to politics, there is a rare special election this Saturday to fill the remaining term of former Congressman Dennis Hastert. The 14th district covers most of Kane County and stretches west almost to the Mississippi River. CBS 2 political editor Mike Flannery reports regardless of the outcome, the candidates will square off a second time in November. The special congressional election in the West Suburban 14th District took a nasty turn this week. Well, that is the most despicable kind of negative false campaigning. Jim Oberbright's wife brought his mudslinging and dirt from the, the Republican primary. Republican candidate Jim Oberweiss, the milk and ice cream magnate, says he's been smeared as anti-immigrant. He cites an anonymous flyer hitting the many Latino households in the 14th Congressional District. That makes me mad. Uh, this is just wrong. I have never had a position or a problem with immigration. I have no idea of the, what the ad is. Responding is the Democratic candidate Bill Foster, a nuclear physicist and entrepreneur. He cites a Chicago Tribune report that Oberweiss used actors instead of real people in a mailer. Jim Overweiss is using fake numbers and fake people to smear me in the mail. But three or four days before the end of the campaign to go out and spend time trying to find people to fit those different categories uh, was a lot more difficult than just finding actors. I endorse Bill Foster for Congress. Because Senator Barack Obama is lending his considerable weight to Foster's half million dollar TV ad campaign. Is something we're very proud of. Did that spell the difference for you, Saturday? Oh, it certainly could. They'll vote for Oberweiss. Obama's not on the ballot. It is because these two men are running to replace former House Speaker Denny Hastert, of course, that this contest is being watched so closely all around the country. Denny Hastert held that seat for 21 years, always easily defeating Democratic challengers. Mike Flannery, CBS 2 News.